Obviously, yeah. a lot of issues going on with Tom Brady, his marriage life, things like that. And Antonio Brown has been very quick to pounce all over it. He is continuing to go after Tom Brady for some apparent reason. Antonio Brown viciously mocks Tom Brady's marital troubles, appears to announce retirement, and flexes his six-figure music money. Now, this morning, probably about four hours ago when we're doing this live stream here, AB put out this tweet. Holy fuck. God. Let's open it in a new tab Whoa. here. Oh, my goodness. Man. Oh, the Daddy artwork. Doesn't the live art. here anymore. Dang. Look I'm who's in the window. Look who's in the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. That is oh savage. Oh, like, my God. Oh. Uh. And uh, he's getting some pushback. He's like, imagine making fun of someone's struggles in their personal life when they try to help you with yours. Oh. Uh, and someone says, imagine being surprised at anything AB does. <laughs> so <laughs> he is getting some pushback for posting this because it is pretty fucking brutal. Uh, and it is with Tom Brady, a guy who reportedly tried to do just about everything he could. I, I don't know if it's out of the kindness of his own heart. It's because he wanted <laughs> Antonio Brown on his team. But he tried to you know, keep Antonio Brown out of trouble. At least it, that's the way it appears. And that is, That's no that is mercy cold. right there. It's the, listen, listen, I love Tom Brady. He's the man. That's funny as fuck, bro. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> it, it's fu fucked up, but it is funny. <laughs> A.B. in the window. <laughs> and he's just sitting there like cocky as hell. Holy yeah. Well, I, he clearly has to know his career's over with. I don't believe he would be posting that if he was trying <laughs> to get I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think AB is almost like narcissistic enough to think that like he's still wanted and desired, and he probably is. But more so at the end of the season, nobody's going to take a risk on him this early. Wow. But he also did put this out this morning. Only person I'll ever play football with again is my son. So. <laughs> Maybe maybe that's him saying, I don't want to play again. I'm retired, whatever it may be. Uh, he also tweeted out this, which is just a picture of Secure the Bag Label LLC. Uh, they gave him 150 grand for something, for some fucking rap that he did. I don't know if it was a concert he did or a recording, whatever it was. But Antonio Brown making it clear, he thinks he's perfectly fine without football and has no problem taking every single shot in the world at Tom Brady. Whew, man, this is – it's bad. I mean, it is – in all reality, though, it is it is really sad that – I mean, from all of reports that we've had over the, the years, Tom Brady really looked out for him. You know what I mean? Really did yeah. look out for him, went to bat for him. Uh, fought, like uh, Bruce Arians famously said that Antonio Brown was not going to be a, a you know Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Mm -hmm. And then fast forward to Brady basically saying, I need him. And I'll do whatever I got to. I'll do whatever I got to do. Yep. And um, now to see where he's at with this, like I said, it's funny, but it's it's that's brutal right yeah, there. That's man. cool. That is that's next level. Like that is so far beyond the line. You know what I mean? But well, uh, the dude's mentally fucked. He well, really is. Brady stuck his neck out for AB twice after the whole Raiders fallout with AB, recruited him to New England, a whole bunch of stuff. He played for New England for like, what, a week and a half, and then he Something was cut, like yep. and then yep. stuck his neck out again for AB in Tampa Bay, had him living in his home, and just the disrespect for mm -hmm. AB after the amount of times that Brady has stuck his neck out for him. It's quite incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this point in time, I am going to be interested to see, like, we don't... Um, Outside of Jordan, in our in our kind of lifetime in, in a team sport element, we've really never seen anyone rise to the occasion like Brady does. He feeds off of negativity, out off of doubt. He he creates his own uh, he creates his own obstacles, and then he he tries to overcome them on the field. Clearly, this is a different level when you're dealing with your your family and your marriage falling apart. Uh, it sucks that that's even a topic of discussion that we're constantly having. But I mean, when you are an athlete and you're putting your family and your relationship front and center, even, even the fact that he was with Giselle, they didn't have to make that a public thing. They made it a public thing. They made it part of everything. They did that. And so now it's a big discussion. Will he be able to overcome it? If this motherfucker wins a Super Bowl in a year that the Buccaneers clearly are in trouble, 
they are not operating right now. And, uh, yeah. if, if this dude wins a Super Bowl in this season, holy shit. You know what I mean? So, it, Especially with Giselle not breathing down his neck, I know it kind of seems a little far-fetched and out of reach. We were all saying earlier that this is for sure Brady's last year just a few weeks ago. This is Brady's last year no matter what. But without Giselle breathing down his neck, who knows what can he, happen, he man. Brady, Brady might back. He might not even end his career in Tampa Bay. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, Give me five that, more years, Brady. He could, he could end his career somewhere else. Give me five Who more. Who fucking knows? <laughs> yeah, he goes to like mm. Dallas or something. <laughs> uh, Raiders with Josh McDaniels. Mm. <laughs> I, I said before the season that this is his last year, but then Giselle divorced. I was like, you know what? This, this dude, he all he it. has is football. He, and he's still playing at an elite level. Not so much at the beginning of the season, but we've seen this before. He may want to play another year or two. It's going to be a tough question because I, I, the way things are going right now, you know, if they finish it ten and seven, you know, and get in the playoffs and maybe an early exit or something, does he want to come back? You know, d- does he want to come back right. to the Bucks, depending on what state they're in? Does he want to go somewhere else and start over again? That's those are tough decisions to make when you're looking at forty six years old, uh, and. Right. Uh, you know, having to work around spending time with your kids in a different way now. So, I don't know. There's a lot of shape that could happen with Tom Brady. 